but when you're participating in dumbass things, it's dumbassery. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Motor Ramblings. I'm Patrick. I'm riding Big Yellow, my 2010 Honda Goldwing, and it is absolutely beautiful out here. 65 degrees in the middle of February. Loving life. RV for sale. Two RVs for sale. Huh. Don't think I'm interested in those. Anyway, I'm out and about taking the Goldwing for a ride because it's the middle of February. I haven't ridden a lot, and I'm just excited to be out and about. Today's video, <laughs> way back when, and I tried to do this video a couple times earlier and I blew it, and just, you know, sometimes when you're out of practice, you, you mess things up. So anyway, way back when, What's Up Bob did a video where he was at a, a museum or a, a space museum, air and, air and space museum. Anyway, he was at this museum and he stepped out of a, a display, an exhibit, and he hurt his shoulder and he did a video about how sometimes we do dumb things on purpose because we're not smart or just accidental and we pay the price sometimes immediately and he paid the price of apparently separating his shoulder but he was lucky and he popped it back in himself which just does not sound like fun Bob, I'm impressed. And it's just like, oh man, oh man, pop! That thing went right back into place. Before we get started, I'm challenging each and every one of you to do a similar video. One in which you did something in your life and then later in retrospect, you look back and you thought, what a dumbass thing that was to do. And so, Brett, his son, Chopper Fett, miss you Chopper Fett, come on Brett, hope everything's going well. Anyway, <clears throat> he challenged everybody to put a video out talking about some of the dumb things they've done that, you know, they had to pay the price for, and of course there's tons of them for me, I'm just, most of the time, I am living proof of dumbassery i don't know if that's a word but i like it it's a dumbass but when you're participating in dumbass things it's dumbassery so i have tons of dumbassery times the one i want to talk about today is to do with a pop-up camper that i bought way back when and look at there's an old bus up in the woods i went to an rv show Sunday. Today's Tuesday. Looking at different RVs. Maybe in the future I might get a toy hauler or something. I don't know. Maybe. I like what I've seen people doing. Wind Road Therapy with her toy hauler. I think that that would be a great way for my wife and I to travel. Take the toy hauler. Go someplace. And ride around that area and have a home base. Uh, that doesn't cost us a fortune. If I'm going alone, I will probably take the bike by myself and not take a toy hauler. But then again, if I have the toy hauler, who knows? Maybe I will take it. Don't know. Anyway, aside from that, that got me thinking about a pop-up camper I had way back 20 years ago, I guess. Mitchell was very young and we wanted to do vacations, but we didn't want to spend a ton of money going to these hotels every time we wanted to go on a vacation. So we bought this pop-up camper and it was great. I mean, in the end, oh my God, that thing was awesome. We ended up buying bigger and bigger campers after that before Mitchell finally grew up and we stopped going on vacations like that. Um, and we always talked about how we missed the pop-up camper. It was like the best. This video is going on way too long. Sorry, guys. First day I went up, I bought the pop-up camper. I drove up to Marion, North Carolina, drove the thing home. Of course, it's a pop-up camper. It's got a single axle. I My driveway comes down a hill, and then it... I heard a beep. Comes down a hill, and then it makes a 90-degree turn as it backs up into my driveway. So, 
I knew that I was not going to be able to back this camper down my driveway and make that 90 degree turn. I just had no practice, had never done it. I knew single axles were tougher. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to drive it down. Got the van up tight in the driveway and thought I'll disconnect it, the camper, from the van and just roll it. You know, I'm 30 years old, 35 years old. I can do this. I'll just disconnect it, lift the tongue up, and push that sucker back. Well, not so much. Ah, they put these patches on the road. Lots of gravel. Anyway, squirrel. So, I disconnect it. It immediately starts rolling away from me. I'm trying to push it toward my garage door, but there's just enough of a hill, I did not know that, going away from the garage door that this camper just started going that way. Now, at the end of my driveway, that end of my driveway, where the camper was headed, there was a four foot drop down to another ledge, and then like another two foot drop, and I thought, my camper's going to get destroyed if, if this continues. And I've got both feet planted on the ground. It's like some sort of cartoon. My feet are planted. I'm hanging on to the tongue of this thing. And it's dragging me along. And just pulling me toward that edge. Oh, it was terrible. I, I was panicking. I was like, uh-oh. Did not know what I was going to be able to do. And at the last moment, as the ass end of the camper was heading toward that ledge, I thought, pivot, pivot, pivot. And I ran with the tongue toward the other side of the driveway, like uh, 90 degrees from the way it was rolling. And I rolled it around real quick. So now the tongue is pointing um, downhill and the back end of the trailer is pointing uphill, just slightly. But it was enough to stop the camper's momentum from heading down and rolling off the edge of my driveway. Of course, I put the tongue down without even using the jack at that point because I was worn out. God, this road is terrible. So, yeah, that was my dumbassery moment with my pop-up camper. I'm sure there will be plenty more. But for now, this video has dragged on way too long and I don't like this road and I don't like the fact that it's telling me to be prepared to stop. So I'm gonna get off of here and I will be back and talk to y'all at another time. I hope everyone can stay well, stay safe. Most of all, stay happy y'all. Watch out for this crap. It's getting all over the bottom of my bike. Damn it. See ya.